for many of us, we're leaving the quiet of the weekend and going into the busyness and the noise of life as we start a new week. The power of the silence, though, can be taken with you, and it can recharge you, it can renew you, it can refresh you at depth. Mother Teresa has said, God is the friend of silence. See how nature, trees, flowers, grass grows in silence. See the stars, the moon, and the sun. How they move in silence. We need silence to be able to touch souls. In Psalm 62, verse 1, it says, Truly, my soul silently waits for God. From God comes my salvation. Well, salvation is something that can come to you when you're facing a meeting at your employer at 11.30 a.m., and you feel agitated, worried about that meeting. Then you take a few moments. Instead of a few moments of worry, you have a few moments of silence and in feeling the touch and the presence of God, and you're renewed. You're empowered, refreshed, made new to go into that meeting with a whole new countenance of who you are. And you, you do not go in there alone. You go in there with God. Well, the world seems to grow louder and louder day by day. And sometimes it seems our senses are assaulted at almost every turn. But if we allow distractions and all the noise to separate us from God's peace... Well, we do ourselves a profound disservice. Instead of a world filled with noise, we must carve out for ourselves within the noise moments of silence, of connecting with God. If we're able to maintain righteous minds and compassionate hearts, we take time each day for prayer and meditation on God's Word. Every waking hour at the beginning of this week, I ask you if you have a watch that has a little beep on it on the hour to give back six minutes of every hour that is waking to God. Six minutes. Now, you don't need to close your eyes at your desk. You just simply pray as you're going about your activities. It has tremendous rejuvenating power. And it connects you with God. Six minutes out of the beginning of every hour. And you'll find at the end of the day, you're not fatigued, but renewed and energized. And you feel that connectedness. Because you've had periods that you've carved out of the noise for God's silence. I pray that you're not robbed of the peace of God. And you stop the robbery by your own protection system, by going to God and finding the time and carving out the time in a busy day. Six minutes out of every hour at the beginning of hour as a time tithe to God in prayer. God bless you. I know that God will.